Hi, good morning. Welcome to uh, World BWF World uh, Coaching Conference. Of course, my name is uh, Tan Kim Hel, and today I will talk about uh, doubles. What uh, what we see now, doubles. What we uh, as we know now, the the games now is totally changed compared to the 1990 or 2000s, because now games doubles we need power, we need speed, we need endurance, we need everything. So I will talk, I will explain to you also today uh, how we train men's doubles, how we train ladies' doubles, and how we train mixed doubles. For ladies' doubles now, you can see a country like China, Japan, and they are not Mostly, we are not concentrate more on tactical or technical games. They are more focusing more on endurance, <coughs> defense, and whatever uh, covering court. You can see uh, Japan now they play toss drop, toss drop. Whoever who can last, who are mentally strong, they will win the game. But for men's double, we need a lot of tactical game, especially service and return service. Once we serve good. We intercept good. We are controlling the game. But how we do it? So I'm going to show you a, a few, a few strokes also. I will, today I will show you how uh, how we do the attacking, how we do the defensive, defending, uh, how we do front front play, and uh, also service return for the men's doubles. Then I will show you ladies doubles training. Then I will show you mixed doubles training. So mixed doubles training also I try to explain a little bit first. And you can see uh, the boys, the boys need to play at least 70 to 80 percent covering on court. The girls only play 30 to 20 percent. You can't play like the girls is playing 50 percent and the boys playing 50 percent, then you are playing like, like a doubles. So let the girl play 20 to 30 percent so that she can cover in courts small and she can focus much easier. For boys, they have to run three corner. Yeah. So today, now I'm going to show you a uh, step by step first. I show you a uh, service return as example now. How how we train? How players uh, they intercept the shape. Uh, the, the shatter. If I, if I serve here, where can they return? Yeah? So, example now, if now one person service, if we serve around this area, this area, T area, okay, you start to analyze the opponents because you play tournament, you don't know where they are they going to hit. For play, you play few five to six shots, you should know which angle can they hit. If you step here, mostly they play here or push there. So from there, you know, I serve here, maybe they play here or they play there. Before you serve, talk to your partner. Talk to your partner, I'm going to, I serve there, I'm going to take care of this area. And you're going to take care of both side back. Once you serve, if they play here, thank you very much, I'm, I'm controlling back. Once you control, the whole game, you are, you are, we, are, we are more advantage. We are controlling the whole game. And then if they push there, what can you do? Maybe you return there, talk to your partner, three, four shots, I'm going to move up the other side. It's a lot of tactical game in doubles. Okay? And then, how we do it, example now, maybe, both of you can show now. Okay, you serve around this area. Okay, you can play here, you can play there. So you get ready now. Okay. After he drives, you go over there. You take care. See, once you know the shot, that means you are controlling. You know they are going to hit there, you counter attack. When you counter attack, this this pair, this area, we are we are we are more advantage. Yeah? And then this is a part of the service return. 
and how we train also we train no lifting game okay this is a part of our training now uh, you serve we are not going to play back either you dribble or you play soft so this is the the training yeah this part of the training is the basic training you go back you give to your players we train this no lifting game yeah and then the next one we talk about attack we talk about attack now one person this kind of training you come in maybe uh, maybe you go over there okay sorry you go over there training attack only one person attack the other the other rest first you attack here i block i cross lift you attack again you block you cross lift again so you both, both of you here now here higher jump Okay. This also we train speed. We train speed, we train power. So that you know when we play game, we need all this. We need all this this this, this kind of uh, training. Yeah? Then the other attacking you can do also, you see. As I you smash here, you know when you play tournament, you smash center. What can the opponent do? What what will you do if the if you smash here? Mostly they will go there. So you in training you smash here, intercept there. You move first. Yeah? Okay, again you smash enter. Again. Okay. See, this is also another training. You know, as, see, once you smash here, you must know the next shot is going where. A lot of players, sometimes they smash, they are still standing there. They don't know where the shot go. You, you have to move one step ahead. Once you attack, you know the next shot is going there, you move first. Yeah? And then we can do also this... Uh, uh, Two, two, two here. Just control for five minutes. Normally we can do this. You control, control, you lift. Back, back, back attack. You control, control, then you lift. Okay, then you attack. Then you move on court. Again. This also is the part of the training as well. Yeah? It's the part of the training as well. And then, uh, any question about attack? Any question about the attack? No, 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 I carry on again. Then the, the next one is the, we talk about defend. Defend, there's a many type of defend. Some defend is counter attack. You attack, I can counter. Yeah? See, normally, I prefer the players do not stand too back. If you stand too back, when people open a smash, we are taking like this. When you're taking like this, we are playing more defensive. We, we, we can't counter. I prefer the players stand more front. When you stand more front, when open a smash, you can take higher. You take higher, you can do a lot of things. You can counter. Not going like this. You're going like this, the shutter is going up. So said we are playing more defensive. We train here, standing position in the middle. To good, how do we train this hand? Is that one of the good exercises hit against the wall? I think this this is very good for your for your re reflex and for your wrist. You hit and your eyes eyes contact. You are looking in front instead of looking like this. You don't look at don't look at the center. You look in front. You hit higher, you can counter attack. Hit against the wall is the one of the good exercise, good training, good stroke to, 
to play with. Yeah? So, also we can do one person here, the three person is there. You go over there. Okay? Then you attack. Both of you attack. This is also part of the exercise. One of the stroke. You lift up. Lift up. Yeah. Again. Okay. And then, the thing is, you see, you smash one time. Okay, once we drive, the shutter is going there. Don't put your hand down. I find this sometimes, when you counter attack, don't put your hand down. You counter attack, you have to move in. Hand up. From defend, we counter to attack again. This is what I'm saying. Don't take two down. You take up, you drive, the next one you go like this. Yeah? If they block, thank you very much, you go in, you're taking high. Everything is high. You play double, you cannot take too low. You have to take high. Yeah? Okay, then the next one also, we are talking about side, side movement. You play doubles, we, we, we do a lot of lunges, uh, side movement. Another training we can do is, maybe you're here. You're here. Just control, control, control. Every, everything is control. Yeah. Okay. So this is a controlling game. Control, controlling training. Yeah, do more on this. Okay? And then the next one also we're talking about front front play. And uh, front play we can uh, one one and one. One person here. All soft soft play, you come front. All soft play. All soft play. All take up. So we can train this also. This is a part of the training as well. Yeah? And then, I'm sure all of you are, you are the part of the coaches also. So, you're talking about high level, it's a lot of things you have, not only coaching them, you have to understand players, players' uh, uh, attitude, players' discipline, players, players uh, some players can take high pressure, some players can't take pressure. You got, I'm, I'm, I'm facing the same here. So I, I, I train, uh, I'm, this, I'm, I'm in this line almost 18 years. I face a lot of things, I see a lot of things. Some players are very good in training. They can perform very good in training. But when they come to the real tournament, they can't perform. So some players, they, 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 they can't play well, in the, they, they can't train uh, hard in training, but they can perform good in tournament. So how are we going to overcome this problem? So I'm sitting and, I, and I'm talking to the players as well. So, and some players are talented. Some players are very talented, but they are lazy. Yeah? Some players are very talented, they are very lazy. I think uh, some players work very hard, but skill-wise, they are not good. So as a coaches, I'm sure all of you are coaches, how we overcome this problem. Like for example, in Korea, when I went to Korea, everyone know, physically-wise, they are very strong. Everyone know about that. Physical-wise, they are very strong. So when I was there, when I, when I went there, I take two months to analyze this and observe what should I do after this? We know physical is too strong. So I told, after two months, I talked to the coaches. I said, look, I want to change. Because I don't need physical a lot. I need more on badminton. Badminton and skill-wise, tactical-wise, 
from there we can see slowly we change and we got Leong there and Zheng Zisang. Then, the, then we see some changes there. Or then I went to England. England and India is almost similar same. Huh? They are very smart. The players are very smart. They learn things very fast. The only thing we need to educate them, explain to them, they will ask you why we do this, why we do that. It's the same in India. Coach, why we do this? We have to explain to them why we do this, why we need that. For if you are in Asia, like in Korea, they don't ask you, they just do only. Why you, you no need to ask. So that's why European, they are more mature, very independent. The players are very independent. But for in Asia, we still need to feeding them, feeding them. But they start early age. They start very early age. So this is what I see a lot of advantage in uh, some Asian advantage in this. European advantage is when they are start getting older, they play much better. They play much better. And uh, I, I share, share some idea with you guys. You know? So now, now I can see, uh, wait, uh, example, I stuck somewhere. <laughs> Sorry about that. I don't know where. It's just, there's too many things I, I need to. But you, you, you can ask me anything. You can ask me anything so that I can answer you. For any questions so far? Yeah. Uh, hi, I'm Bo Chow from Sweden. Um, if you compare the men's doubles now uh, with the men's doubles from a few years ago, uh, for what I understand it, the there are different styles when attacking, uh, it's covering the net. The front player covers one side and the partner covers the other side, versus now uh, I see a, a lot more Asian players, especially covering the whole net. Uh, what is your take on that? Should you cover the whole net or should you cover only okay. one side? Good idea. You see, you see now Indonesia, we're talking about Indonesia. I, I analyze this, this country. Indonesia players, when the front, uh, the back player attack, the front player is not moving. The first shot especially, the first shot. When you attack, the back player attack, the front player only stay in front. They're not going to move. So, make sure the attacker is going deep. You're going deep. If you counter, the front player is intercept all. Like, in, uh, like for Korean players, they play a lot of rotation. One attack, the other one moving up. The other one is moving up. So, before the match, something like, I analyze the game. Okay, now I'm playing against the Indonesia. I know when they, the, the, the back player attack, I'm not going to block first. I will open up first. Instead of I block, I know I can't pass the front player. And if we play in Korea, we're not going to keep lifting. Because they have a very strong attack. So, what we do is, one time leave, the second one we block, we control. So a lot of uh, different, different style. That's why now, nowadays, everyone before the game, they watch, they watch video. Each player's opponents, how, how they play, how they play. So they get some idea how to overcome the problems. I'm from uh, Sri Lanka, Niloka. Yeah, I know you. Uh, this is uh, not really a technical uh, question. Uh, I need to know in a big event, in a very tight situation, it means doubles, uh, to overcome the situation, to, to win the point, like we say match point, or it's in a big event, uh, what kind of a uh, 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 feeling the player should have, or is it, is, is it a strategic plan? to overcome the situation or, or is it a, it's a, it's a moral uh, feeling or the, much of motivation or a 100% strategic plan to overcome the situation? Not, uh, not I understand the, your question yes. because I'm facing the same thing. Yes. Because in some players, you know, when I'm in uh, 
especially in men's doubles, which yeah. is very, very tight. When in Malaysia, in Korea, no. where, which, which country? You see, the up and uh, up and coming junior players, as example now. Uh, let's say the backup, good, good, tell a potential player. They play against the top players. Okay, the top players. When come to 18 or ending point, ending point, chances of winning still the top players. Ending there, our hand tends up sometimes the junior players, the backup people. No, they just want to finish it without calm down their own uh, emotion. It's the same. I, I, I'm feeling the like this. Uh, this world championship, my mixed doubles and ladies doubles, almost ending point to point. We are too eager to finish it. We should calm down and think, and very focused and believe yourself. Belief is always. You have to believe yourself. You can do it, you can do it, you can do it. And before you surf for men's doubles or even ladies doubles, because ending there, I'm talking about ending there, eh? you said finishing there, finishing point, right? 18 all. The whole game you go through, I'm sure you already know their game, what they, they are going to do. Especially, especially now I surf. I know what you're going to do now. If I surf there, you're going to... Where are you going to play? Talk to your partner, talk to your partner, focus three, four shots only. If you can overcome that point, chances of winning, you are more advantage. Yeah? yeah. And also, uh, is it, uh, especially you, uh, anyway, it, it happens to all the players maybe, because when you are playing a big, it doesn't matter if it's international or national, in a, in a big, uh, in a final, what kind of mentality you should have as a player? Is it uh, because you you become more emotional? You you train so hard, and, and all the players train so hard to be uh, be in that position. So uh, is is it because inside, even though you don't show, even the players doesn't show, they are a bit emotional inside that you want to be really fight, you want to you want to achieve this target, or is it uh, you have to you should not think about like that, or you have to be more strategic. Some, I think, uh, it's is it depends uh, uh, to the person to person or is it different to the character to character? I'm sure some uh, some players they, they face the thing, you know, they when they back tournaments, they they, they see uh, mental uh, what do you call it uh, uh, psychology, you know. Some people they believe this. For Asia people, some they don't, they just believe themselves, but for it's how ending there, how you manage. And I believe mind is always controlling our whole body. If your mind is not stable, your hand stiff. When your hand stiff, you playing, you know, you playing too stiff. You playing are not, you are playing too safe. Ending, you can't play too safe. You you have to dare to take the risk. For example, and uh, for example, like. When Chong, uh, Lee Chong Wei from Malaysia, if you see, if uh, 19 all, 19 all, they play against anyone in 19 all, the top players. I'm 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 saying it's top players, 19 all. Chances of winning ending, we do research, 80% the top players are winning. 20% they lost. For Chong Wei, we do analyzing is the 80% mostly he will win. When the ending, when come to ending, so I believe is that's why I say is how you manage. You have to believe yourself. Believe is the key word. You know, you have to believe yourself. Thank you. Yeah. Anyone want to know about, like example, like doubles training or mixed doubles training? Then I can show you here, or any question. I'm Huawei Wen from Germany. Um, for the first exercise, for the defense, uh, you're trying to, uh, the objective for the player is to counter attack. So, what I experienced is that we do the ex same exercise, but it's really hard for the players to tell what is the right moment to move in. You have a good shot, you block. Yeah? Block doesn't mean you have to move 
forward, follow up all the time. Sometimes shots go really high, they move forward. Of course, it's not a good idea. You get hit on your high, on your yeah. body. Anyway, so what is the good moment for them to move in? Of course, as a coach, you say, okay, the shadow goes flat, or or you. Um, what is the successful counter attack? Is that shadow goes flat over the net, or you get the, they take the shadow low, you move forward. So it's really hard for a coach to tell them what is the good moment to move in, what is not. Okay, first of all, you see, when you defend, when you defend, the front players here, let's say you, the, the back players attack, the front players here. Once you counter attack, once you counter attack, once you pass the front players, when you drive, right? Now you smash, I told you, you drive. You pass the front players. So I'm sure the back players, they are going to take like this. So once you pass the front player, you, you, you shouldn't wait. You are straight away move in and your, your racket should be up. Then your partner is going over, over there. This is what I call, is a, you have to understand, you and your partner need to understand. If I drive, I move in, then you come back. And in doubles now, in doubles now, you can see how we select to choose partnership. I'm talking about choose partnership. We choose one attack, one, def uh, one uh, front player. We don't choose two attackers. Because if you choose two attackers, who is going to do the setting here? So when you combine the partnership, you have to choose one front players, one attacking players. So the attacking players, you see now, okay, example like A is the attacker, B is the uh, front players. The attacker, when you smash the attacker, let's say the attacker drives. The attacker not going to rush in. The, feet, the front player want to move in. In double, a lot of tactical. Huh? This player, because he's the attacker, I drive, I want to take care of back. You going in. You get what I'm trying to tell you? Yeah, got it. Yeah. Got it. Just, just the moment when they should. Well, passing the front player, player because if you, do, if you do two in the rear court, one in front court, so it's harder for the one who's defending to get the shadow past the front person. And sometimes they do do a flat drive, which is really good, that the return comes very flat. And then a lot of players are not following. They're good. not keeping your racket, their racket up. So I found it's very hard for a coach to teach them what is the right moment. No, it's not hard, you see. Maybe you get some video, you show them. Once you attack, you drive. You drive, then you go like this, you're going in. Teach them, always, maybe you can do training now. Example now, okay, now. Uh, no, without you. So you, you smash, you smash. Now you, you smash, yeah. You smash, you drive, no front. You just practice this. Okay, now you, now you lift. You. Ah, then you come in. You get me? This is also part of the training. Just drive first. As I say, you drive, you don't drive like this. You have to counter this. Go up, move it. Yeah. That then something like as a it's a mountain feeling. That then used to it. If you, every day you do the do this counter counter, you move counter, you move automatically in game you will do it. Of course, it, it's not like you see when we teach the player, we must have patience. We must have patience. You don't expect them one month they, they're going to be improved or they're going to be uh, playing right things. Sometimes it will take up to six months, seven months, just to do one thing. Yeah? Thank you. Thank you. I just wanted to uh, comment on where the setup for the front guy should be. Um, I've taught in the past, say this guy's in the back, it's on his forehand side and he's hitting and he's smashing down. And the guy in the front, sometimes I'd want him to be maybe to be over to cut off that cross-court lift. But sometimes I'm now seeing players because the tendency maybe is to come back with a flat drive back is that the guy in the front now will slide over here and the responsibility for the cross lift would be the same guy in the back. What's your comment okay. on that? 
there's a few few style of play. Now you say, you telling me now this man here, this guy is always taking care of you, right? Okay, they have two a few style of play. You know your partner, as example he, you know your partner is always taking care of you. Communicate with your partner. You don't smash straight. If you want him to go out, you smash center. That's one, one of the exercises. You smash center, so the opponent will hit here. So you're attacking here. Yeah? And the second thing, it can be different style. You know your partner is good in here. They said, why don't you tell your partner, if I'm here, smash. He have to know where you smash first. Now, in between there, you, the game is carry on. You, t uh, I'm, I'm, example that I'm playing with him. If you are here now, you don't go center line. You just go straight so that I can cover you here. If you full smash, I'm not gonna move up. So when you smash, you have to make sure you can cover the other side. But if you are in not in good position, in double is too fast. Huh? If you are not in good position, why you want to smash? You keep first. You attack, make sure you smash there. Co combination, understanding, I'm taking care here. You smash there, I'm taking care of that. This is what I'm saying, ending there, always ending. When come to ending point, 18 all or 19 all, very crucial point. Three, four shot, you need to understand. You cannot miss the shot. Even my player, I told them, uh, sometimes, suddenly, there, there, there's a few players. They smash here, ending. Long rally, they, they smash there. Because partners thinking of here. You go and smash straight, suddenly to open a play here. Because of mis miscommunication, uh, then we lose the point. Yeah? So you, you tell your partner, if you know your players, always focus there. This player, don't smash straight line. If you smash straight line, you move. Once you smash, you move straight. Then you smash center line, this guy is going up. Yeah? Oh, okay. You see, in, in, in doubles now, in doubles now, uh, look, when, when I, when the, when my partners drop, the opponent is cross, yeah? The shutter is there. You can't stand like this. Because a lot of space here. You are, you are letting the uh, opponent see this is the empty space. Too obvious. You should come here first. Even you come here, uh, I, I correct your thing. Your, part, your, your player know he's, I'm waiting here. But you're standing here. But your mind is focusing to move up. So the opponent see you're standing here, they might not want to play here. If you stand here, there's two empty, empty space there. So wherever go there, Okay, now, example now, okay, now, uh, maybe you're there. Maybe you're standing here. Okay, now you, you drop from here. Then you lift cross. Drop. Okay, then you go over there. Uh. If, you, if you stand to here, you give, you're letting the opponent see this here, it's an empty space. Come nearer here, but your mind's focus is over there. Okay? Uh, hello. Hi, I'm Martin from, from Peru. Uh, also, you can do it like uh, from the other side, uh, like being uh, standing that, that way, but your mind is in the net. Can you do it like? Means standing. Yeah, the, the guy from the front is standing that way, okay, okay. but the, your mind is on the net, like, but like this. But you see, the, the chapter is here. Yeah. You know, chapter is here. You have to follow the chapter. Yeah, of course. You, you don't leave the chapter there. Uh -huh. You follow the chapter because you are letting the opponent 
You don't let the opponent see this is the advantage space. Mm -hmm. yeah. But that's one thing I want to correct here. Today, because I'm here, maybe I'm showing, I have to show what kind of trainings, yeah? Uh, double style or mixed double style or ladies double style. But I think in the whole world now, everyone train the same. Everyone train the same. I'm sure Malaysia, Korea, all, everyone's the same. The training, you do training, I do training. And, and I've been to everyone, uh, many countries, all training same. It's how the, the, you need to get the point on me. You need to get the point right. Why we do this? As, as I told you just now, if you choose partnership, you have to choose one attacker, one front players. You can't choose two, two attackers. And also I told you, some players, you see, let's say I have five attackers. I have five attackers now. I, I have five front players. Okay. How I, I choose the partnership? Some players, as I told you, good in training. They are good in training. But they can't perform in real, real, real game, tournament, because they cannot take pressure. Some player can, some player cannot. Those, I choose the five of them, I choose the, the one who can take pressure. And partnering with this one who can take pressure, then we combine. At the end of the day, we won only one, one champion only. We cannot make everyone champion. We choose the best, to play with the best. Thank you. Hello. Oh, hi, I'm um, Ron from England. Uh, when we talk about play, um, couple selection again, um, and you look at um, a left and a right-handed player, we know there's a lot of strengths and weaknesses in, in that combination. Are you still looking for a front court player? Are you looking for more of a, a, a balanced couple? A, a, you know, sort of a, a couple that a, a player that can at, a, that can attack four court and rear court with a left and with a left and right handed combination. Left and actually, the 19, 19, 1980 to nineteen ninety. Even Malaysia, we always choose one left, one right, one right, one right, because it's a, like a more advantage. You smash there, the left hand there, you know. But nowadays, I don't think this is the any more issue anymore because everyone is depend your coordination, your your your, your partnership understanding. This is how I feel, you know. So you can see now the top, even the top player is not lefty and righty. It's all left and right and right. Yep. The last last question, I think the uh, Hi Stefan from Canada. Just curious on, on your um, in men's doubles now the stances are for a right handed player often left leg forward on defense. Um, just if you can comment on that. Which one? On, in a defensive stance, that there's, it's more common now that in men's doubles, the left leg is in front of the right leg oh, instead of a neutral standing, stance or right leg. Standing yeah. position. Yes. For for uh, for example, now we don't we don't stand flat, especially here. You stand flat, if people drop, you find it difficult to move. Normally, if you are in this position, we will prefer to stand left leg front. Right leg back, if you are in this position, if your lift, your shutter is lifting here, because opponent might spend straight line, easy for you to cross. Yeah, if you lift cross, this position you change it to this position, because the shutter come against center, easy for you to cross the other side. You you don't stand like this when they spend center line for you very difficult once. Once you stand this, the shutter go here, you can't turn it. You have to stand in front here, it's easy for you to cross. Same to here, they come here, easy for you to cross. Like for mixed double, I uh, need to explain to you, especially girls. When they lift cross, when they lift cross, the shutter is somewhere around here. 
Okay, now the girls live here. Now I'm man. Where can I smash? I'm not going to smash there. The, 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 the cross line there. Because I use a lot of energy. What I can smash maybe a straight line or center line. So the girl's position, then what your racket should wait there. You should wait like this. Because this area for them to cross here, maybe 10% only. More, more, 40% or 50%, they will come either there or here. So the standing position, the girls need to be just get ready here. They come, just move on it. And if the boy, if the girls live around this area, send the line. Okay? Now, I'm the girl, I live, send the line. Okay, chances of the boy opener will smash here, maybe 40%. Because you're lifting a center line. Of course, the boy will attack the girls. So once you, once you live here, what do you do? Maybe you're focusing here. You're, that's why what I'm saying, the girls only playing 20 to 30 percent. The boys playing 70 percent. So you're just waiting here. If they come center line, the boy have to take it. Yeah. Okay. Any more questions? Or if not, then maybe you can meet me after. Yeah. I think they. <laughs> We almost finished. Okay, thank you very much.